Why did Eisenhower reluctantly enter politics? He was recruited again and again and again. First, uh, Truman uh, tried to recruit him to run as a Democrat. In fact, Truman said uh, he would step aside and become vice president, and Eisenhower could be president. Uh, and Eisenhower felt more, he wanted to balance out the choices, believe it or not, and to have a strong Republican up against uh, a strong Democrat in Adlai Stevenson. Um, the issue was always he had his biggest fights with his own party, um, Taft, and the Republicans were really concerned about how he was going to steer the country and that it was going to lean towards the Democrats. And Eisenhower's biggest issues sometimes were with uh, the Republican Party. He didn't really identify, you know, with mm. either party per se, uh, but he was such a big figure, larger than life. Recognition was obviously through the roof. You know, we, we talk about the times when he's general. A lot of what he learned about bipartisanship and dealing with people dealt with his time in the military. Understand that he put together the D-Day strategy with huge egos like Montgomery and de Gaulle and Patton and all of these people who, you know, you had to deal with. And you had to make them feel like they were a part of the equation. Uh, interesting thing, we found the, the handwritten note that he put General Eisenhower put in his pocket the day before D-Day and said, if this goes wrong, it's my fault. Mm. He, he accidentally dated it July 5th. Um, but he was, you know, before Truman said the buck stops here, Eisenhower fully believed that the buck stopped with him. Time.